Good morning traders. So how do we trade the Dow Jones today? So midterm election results are still rolling in. So um, nothing really, there's no real fireworks at this stage. So kind of just uh, go with the flow for now. And uh, I think the, the key thing to look out for here is pretty much this area which we tagged this morning already. So I'm just going to raise it slightly. This here is my double bottom. First leg of the double bottom, second leg of the double bottom. This is the top. And the reason I'm saying that is if you look at a Bollinger setup, you'll see outside the Bollinger band, inside the Bollinger band. This is a Bollinger W. Okay. Um, let's go back to 126. Just give me, get rid of all of these. Okay. So that is our double bottom. So what we were looking for is we're looking for a break above that on the daily to confirm. Quite a bit of resistance and support has been used as a resistance and support quite a few times. So I would expect us to have a little bit of a bounce off that level before consolidating for a push through. Okay. So, um, and then the other thing I want to pick up is see this inside tail. There's another inside tail and there are more inside tails here. Okay. So, and this is also an inside tail pretty much. This is the big move down. That's the inside tail. So there are quite a few inside tails on this level. So I want to show you the significance of that level. So you can see here it is here. We broke through it, came back, and then it was kind of halt, trying to hold up price again for one, two, three, four, five, um, four hour bars before we finally pushed through it. Okay. So that is a significant level that has been broken and we've had a pretty much a daily close above that level. So that is fairly significant in its own. Okay. This trend is very strong to the upside on the four hour. Uh, we also have a potential head and shoulders here. So here's the shoulder, here's the head, and here's the right shoulder. So inverse head and shoulders. So which lines up with the W bottom on the daily. Okay. So it'll be the same kind of target. Moving averages are pointing up. You can see that we are through the 200 moving average on the four hour. We are a little bit um, overcooked here, but uh, it can stay, the stochastics can stay like this for a long time. So, so yeah, for me at the moment, this is up and I am long. I'll show you where my entry was when we look at the Ichimoku. But uh, let's have a look further down onto the one hour. And you can see we had a little bit of a, a scare here below the moving averages. And this is a great example of why I like to use the Ichimoku in conjunction with uh, any moving average, whether I'm using a Bull Williams or whether I'm using these moving averages. I like to use the Ichimoku. Okay. Now, what I do want to do is just hop across to the Bull Williams and you'll see on the one hour, we did break into the alligator, but we didn't break below the alligator. You see that. So, you know, you can trade just the Bull Williams on this. And so long as you're above this blue line, the trend is up. You know, if it breaks below the blue line, you're looking to get out of the trade. Okay. So for me, I'm just trying to keep things simple. So we will just continue with the 926 smooth moving average. Okay. So this is kind of where we are at the moment. This pattern that we see here is a little bit worrying. So we do have an exhaustion bar and a confirmation pin bar here, and we have broken below the, the confirmation. The challenge that we have is that this is after hours trading. So we've got um, the Asian market that's driving this. And it really just takes one or two big institutions because the volumes are very low to maneuver this thing in multiple directions. Okay, so looking at the hour, we are outside the Bollinger here. We're also a little bit tired. So you would expect some kind of a pullback. But it could just be a two bar pullback like this or a three or four bar pullback like this um, before gathering itself for a move to the upside. Okay, so um, I am long and uh, I don't see any reason to get out of this. So let's just switch across to the Ichimoku. That will give you the... The feeling of what I'm, what I'm looking at. Okay, so 
two things. On Monday, as I said to you, there was a potential trade here. Okay, the concern that I had was the distance we were from Kijinson. So Kijinson and um, Deakinson were very far apart. So normally they, they do come together, but also it could have just swung to the downside. So if it had broken below this level, it would have been a short on, but it did break above this fractal level here. Okay, you see this fractal here, which was 25244, broke through, came back to test that break, and it's been one-way traffic since then. Okay, I didn't take this trade. So I wasn't comfortable with it, and when I'm not comfortable with it, that's just the way I was actually expecting just a, a close the gap here and then continue down lower, which didn't materialize. Okay, so, which is fine, um, not the end of the world. What I was looking for is the breakout of the cloud and the retest. So we had the breakout, we then had the retest. Okay, didn't quite come and test this, but you can see how we had this engulfing on a um, sort of a signal bar that is telling me that there is potential. So the bulls did try to get control until the bears pushed it back down again. So that tells me that there is something happening. We did have a level, and there are two levels at play here. So the first one is your cloud. Okay. And then your second one is this inside tail here. And you can see that's exactly what we were bouncing off. So I had a level. I was above the cloud. Kijinson and Tickinson were pointing in the right direction. Okay. And the other thing that we had is the oscillator was below uh, the negative 80 here. So the oscillator you see as a Williams percentage R, below the negative 80, that, together with the fact that I'm coming off the cloud, off a level, Kijis and Tigginson pointing the right way, Shikha span through price here, that was my signal to be long. Okay, and that was a sure bet for me, uh, although the your stop entry would have been below um, Kijinson here, or alternatively below the cloud, doesn't really matter. But that is the trade. We rallied, we came back to test a break, and what break did we come back to test? Pretty much um, this level inside tail here. Okay, we didn't come all the way down, which it could have done, but it sort of bounced off Kijinson. And that was my second entry long. Okay. And for now, both of these entries are in profit because we have a stop below this fractal and below Kijinson at the moment. Okay. So that's kind of um, the trade at the moment. Now, what I'm looking for is another entry long. But what is concerning me here, and I am still working on the hour. is pretty much the fact that we could potentially have a wedge brewing. So that's a channel at the moment, but if I take it to there, we've got a wedge. Okay, and the bigger picture is the big head and shoulders. So, yeah, the, there is a distinct possibility that we come back down and start looking somewhere along here. So Kijinson and Tikinson would be my two areas to watch. Okay. But if I go up on the higher time frames on the four hour, there is no reason to get out of this at all. Okay. So Kijinson and Tikinson are pointing straight up and this is the kind of trade that you want to take. So you want to be going with this momentum to the upside. Okay. We do have a bit of a grouping here. But that's nothing at this stage. So what you could have is another one or two bars that just go sideways. And this pulls down. And then we have a, a rapid acceleration to the upside. Okay. So what I'm looking for. So my target on this is pretty much as follows. Okay. So my target is up there. Which is 26,430. So just round it off to 26,400 to be safe. 
and you'll see you have a couple of inside tails here. So there are a few, and there is another one there, and there is another one there. Okay, so that is the zone that I'm looking for price to get to. Obviously, we have one more level to get through. We have tagged it. So we've tagged these inside tails, but we need to break above that tail there, which we haven't got to yet. That is a neckline of my head and shoulders, my inverse head and shoulders. Okay, so four hour, very strong uptrend. And if we look at the daily, get rid of the noise, we do have a grouping here. So we've got a flat Kijinson and Tikinson is rolling over. So this could turn out to be what is called a C-clamp. So in other words, you're expecting Tikinson to continue to the upside and finally break through there and move the upside. So an example would be here. You can see how it rolls, rolls, crosses over, and then accelerates up. Okay. So, yeah, and you can see also the oscillator here. You can see oscillator is tired, but it's not to say that that is the only signal you need to worry about because you can see it does come off while going up. Okay, so that's kind of my take on this at the moment and obviously the top of the cloud is another challenge but that coincides with my double bottom here so we need to break through that convincingly and then in the cloud and then eventually through the cloud so it may take a, another day or two or three to get through here but um, for now this is a very strong uptrend and there's no reason to get out of it and um, what you should be looking for is to buy the dips and just keep moving your stop up. So keep adding to your position and keep moving your stop up until you get a change in direction. Okay, so that's it for me today. Hope it helps and I will catch you later. Cheers for now.